This questioner uh, did not state his name. What's the ruling of wet dreams in Islam for both men and women? Such questions are quite ambiguous. What's the ruling? The ruling usually is either one of five. And this is called uh, or known as al-ahkam al taklifiya which means that whatever you do is either mandatory or prohibited or highly recommended mustahab or disliked makruh or the fifth category which is permissible these are the five rulings on things that we do so when you say what is the ruling of wet dreams this is involuntary it's called nocturnal uh, uh, emission and this happens without you being able to control it it happens while while a person is asleep so there is no sin on him or her but if you are asking about what follows having one then this is a different issue if a person goes to bed and wakes up he has one of two conditions either he finds something in his or her underwear which is the result of ejaculation which is semen or they don't find anything if they found traces of semen whether they remember seeing an erotic dream or not they have to perform ghusl because the prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam that whenever you see semen you have to take ghusl so it doesn't matter whether a person saw a dream or not an erotic dream that is the second type is when you wake up and you find no traces of semen yet you remember clearly that you had intercourse and that you had ejaculated in your dream but you woke up and did not see anything in this case you do not have to and you must not perform ghusl because the cause and the reason of ghusl is the emission of semen it is ejaculating and because this did not take place then there is no no ghusl on you one may also ask do i have to perform ghusl immediately after waking up the answer is no if it's not time for you to pray for example if someone wakes up after fajr and there is like 5 or 6 hours to dhuhr time so is he obliged to perform ghusl immediately the answer is no he can remain awake he can or she can cook uh, go out shopping sit etc they cannot pray they cannot touch the quran and they must not recite the quran in the state of sexual impurity major sexual or ritual impurity other than that they can behave and act normally